Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you knew me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you. Well, I should say tonight I'm coming back at you. Another Let's Play episode of After Class, Lars's Path. So I'm being a little bit quieter tonight because everybody's asleep and I'm kind of just recording on my computer, getting some stuff together for for uh, future videos. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Let's see. Ah, yes. I know we got quite a few choices over here. I'm probably going to go back to those and see what else I can do with Lars. But this one with Mark was actually pretty cool. But all right, guys, sit back and enjoy. Let me take you for the next 20 minutes and let's jump right in. <clears throat> all right. Is that true? Both of them looked at you with their cute cat eyes. Mark really was putting you in a difficult position. I, I want to go home. Uh, change the topic. Oh, uh, agree with Mark. No, 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 go. Uh, blah. uh are, are you going to stay here until the afternoon like you said, Mark? Hmm. Seems like it. I don't have anywhere to go right now. It's sunny outside. I don't like it sunny. I'd go out with you two, but I want to unlock that song. It's taking me forever. Uh, okay, another time then. Did you, big kitty? What? It was fun. Thanks. Huh. Uh, okay. Even, even though you sucked. Hmm. But it wasn't bad. For your first time, you have the skill, you just need to practice. I'll play with you sometime if you want. I'll consider it. Also, it's Lars. Sure, big kitty. We're leaving then, Mark. Have fun! You too. Let's head out. No, we should decide where you want to go first. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's go to the gym. I wonder where the gym is. Do you want to go there? Yeah, I'm curious. Um, okay, I guess. Do you not want to go there? Uh, no, no. Then let's go. All right. It's been a long time since I went here. I think it was half a year ago, I don't remember. But I was sure that I went with Gilbert in the morning. Gilbert, like Coach Gil? Yeah, that's him. I see. He was the only one who didn't change, don't you think? Huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Oh, you're Lars. Okay, who's this? Place <laughs> Hello, placeholder. <laughs> ah, owner. It seemed like he was the gym leader. He was the gym leader. Boy, was he massive. Although, despite his intimidating looks, his voice was really soothing, and he looked like one of these people that would protect you from any harm. Basically Lars, but a stronger Fox version of him. That was interesting. You didn't see buff foxes often. Where have you been? You suddenly stopped coming. We thought something bad happened to you. Well, I, uh... Lars was having a hard time forming a response to that, but the gym owner quickly came up with something something reassuring. That's all right. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Thanks, owner. At least tell me how you've been. I, uh, haven't been doing so good. But I'm doing fine recently. That's good, at least. I hope it keeps going that way. Hopefully. Who is this little fella over here? Little fella? He called me a little fella! That was a fair statement. He was a lot bigger than you. Uh, I'm Henry, Lars's friend. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Owner. <laughs> I like him. He's got a nice sense of humor. It's not... I just didn't know his name. Well, I've got to run some errands, so if you'll excuse me. Oh, Lars. You should tell us how you've been doing at least once in a while. Everyone was worried sick about you. Both you and Gil stopped coming suddenly, but even Gil had no idea where you went to. I'll try. See you again, Lars. Henry. He gently lifted his arm to say goodbye and headed outside. Hmm. What a nice guy. He really is. Hey, Henry. Hmm? Thanks for taking us here. Huh? Uh, no problem. He ruffled your hair without telling you why, but you weren't complaining because you enjoyed it. Well, we're already here. What are you gonna do? I actually don't know. Maybe we can look around. No one goes to a gym to look around. Oh, dang, really? Probably. As you looked around some more with Lars, he explained about he explained about a lot of things in the gym. And something quite interesting happened. Anders was here, exercising. He wondered if you should approach him or not. Uh, why not? There was no reason to avoid him, so you just approached him and said hi. Judging from his face, he looked slightly surprised, but at the same time, he was relieved. Uh, what voice was I doing? Ah, Henry! And this is... 
Oh, this is my friend Lars. Lars, this is Anders, my classmate. <clears throat> see if I, maybe, I think I was doing that, kind of like my, Mal my Malcolm voice, but a little bit lighter for Henry. Let me see. Nice to meet you. Hi there. What are you doing? <clears throat> ah, it's kind of late. It's late. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my voice to do that thing without being too loud. <clears throat> what are you doing here? I'm just looking around in the city. Oh, you're not here to work out? No. I see. It's so hard to keep a conversation going with him. How do you like the city part of Highwell? I'm liking it so far. There are a lot of interesting places, and it feels really nice in here. But if I have to be honest, I like the air better in the rural part of Highwell. I can agree with that. And the produce is better, too. Do you live here, Anders? Yeah. Ah, must be nice living in the city. It's all right. Not too great. Not too bad, either. Well, I should leave now. Thanks for saying hello, Henry. I'll see you around, Henry. And Lars. Nice to meet you again. Yeah. Hmm. Is he always like that? Uh, like what? Gloomy and quiet? I don't know, but I've known him for six days, and he hasn't been that been the most talkable person. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we're done here. Is there anyone you want to go to? I think I'm done for now. Had enough of the city? Yeah, for now at least. You felt a slight buzz from your phone inside your pocket. You checked it, revealing a phone call from Mr. Parker. Henry speaking. Hey, Henry. Just letting you know that I'm done with school. I'll head there after I finish my dinner. But it sounds like you're outside. Where are you? I'm at the city with Lars. We're about to head home soon. I see. How do you like the city? It's good. Very crowded. There's a lot of fun places in here. Glad you're enjoying it. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind, could I talk with Lars for a bit? Uh, yeah, sure thing, Mr. Parker. Hey, Lars? What is it? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Mr. Parker wants to talk to you. Huh? Uh, alright. Lars speaking. Hmm. Yeah. Not really, we're just walking around. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. We're heading back soon. Alright, thanks. See you later. Once you finished talking to Mr. Parker, he gave, your, he gave you your phone back. He said, I'm gonna eat my food now. Say thank you to Henry for me before he hung up. That's it. Oh, uh, alright then. Let's head back. Alright. <laughs> Did you have a good time today? Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad then. Do you have plans for tomorrow? I'm not sure. It's Sunday, so I think I'm gonna take it easy tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea to me. How about you? I don't have anywhere to go tomorrow. Maybe I'm gonna take it easy as well. That's nice. How about you? Did, did you have a good time today? Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad. Ah, the bus is here. Let's go. The bus was almost empty at the moment, so you could sit wherever you wanted to. You sat down in one of the window seats. Lars walked towards you and sat across from your seat, and now you're facing him. He looked outside through the window, and you did the same. The bus ride was a peaceful one. <laughs> the bus dropped you off in front of Publix. There was a hint of comfort in your body when you arrived here. It was hard to explain. Ha! <laughs> it was really nice to be here. Yeah, it feels nice to be back here. I know, right? It's like we're really home. Well, I mean, we're still out here, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. I'm home, finally! You can go shower if you'd like. I'll put our stuff back in your room. Ah, oh, but aren't you tired? I am, but not that much. Well then, don't mind if I do. But, oh, put the new phone here. I need it later. Gotcha. Hmm. Ah, oh, taking a shower after doing something tiring is the best. Ha. Ah, better decide while the warm water was still flowing against your body. Why did I get the feeling that Lars was a little bit disappointed today? I hope it was really my imagination. Disappointed? Lars was sitting on the couch, his back leaning against it, eyes closed. He gently touched his shoulder, telling him that you finished showering. He opened his eyes slowly. It turned out he was sleeping earlier. How tired was he, really? He got up and rubbed his eyes while he yawned. Ugh. How long was I? How long had I been sleeping? Not too long. I just finished showering. Ah, okay. I guess I'll shower now. I probably shouldn't take too long because I don't want Parker to be here when I'm showering. Huh. <laughs> I thought I could enjoy my shower this afternoon. <laughs> take your time, Lars. I'll be here. Okay. You sat down next to where he, should, to where he would sit. You turned on the TV, letting it play in the background. In other words, you were wasting electricity. You reached for the new phone you brought this morning. You bought this morning, and you inspected it for quite a while. Once everything was set up, you put it back onto the desk. 
You heard a sound of a door opening in the hallway. It sounds like Lars just finished showering. He's not here yet? Why did he keep doing this? It wasn't a bad thing to witness, per se, but you had to not stare at him too much. As he said that, you heard a knock at the door. I guess that answered my question. I opened the door. You should wear your shirt. Sure. Oh, yeah. He gave him the phone that was on the table. Huh? It's for you. Take it. He pushed him back to the hallway when he, when he tried, before he tried to refuse your gift for him. Wait! I'm coming! <laughs> he reached for the door and I would unlock the door. Mr. Parker, come in! Thanks, Henry. He's wearing his formal wear. Could it be he went here without going home first? Just sit anywhere you like. Lars is getting changed. Okay. He sat down, looking around your living room. I know your house looks big outside, but when I'm inside, it's bigger than I thought. Ah, he, yeah. You couldn't come up with another response other than, ah, yeah, because you hadn't been paying attention to it. Your parents rented this house for you and everything was paid, but there was no reason for you to worry about it. But now that he mentioned it, it looked really big and pretty. Sorry for the wait. There he is. Hey, Parker. Don't hey, Parker, me. You got a lot of explaining to do. This didn't feel like something you should listen to. I, uh, I can give you two some privacy if you'd like. That's fine. I don't mind. Lars looked at you with his ears down. If they could speak, they would be saying, please don't leave me alone with him. I'll stay here, then. You sat in the couch across from them while listening to Mr. Parker giving Lars a lecture. That was surprising. You thought it would be the other way around, but Mr. Parker gave Lars the most excruciating lecture you'd ever heard. Lars, on the other hand, stayed silent. The poor guy could even lift his head. He just acknowledged that he was wrong. Apparently, Lars stopped getting in contact with everyone. He escaped everything and betook himself into a hermit life in the rural highwell. He left without telling anyone about it, and nobody could find him. That actually lines up with what the owner of the gym said. Although, if you had to be honest, it was pretty amazing he was in Highwell the whole time, but no one could find him. He could be a spy if he wanted to. Then something unusual happened. Mr. Parker's eyes were getting red, and he looked like he was about to cry. What's happening? He said something along the lines of, Thought you were going to like him, too, and made us all worried sick, and the usual, You're the worst when someone's upset. But one thing he made, one thing made you realize that they had some kind of a grim past. He wouldn't have said two if something like that never happened before, right? You were pretty sure it had nothing to do with you at the moment, but your heart ached for some reason. The more you listened to it, the more your chest hurt. You decided to stop listening and ran off toward the kitchen. What was that about? Now, calm down, Henry. You took several deep breaths, and the beating in your chest started to slow down. Finished doing the breathing exercise, you drank a glass of water and calmed down a little bit in the kitchen before you headed back to the living room. It sounded like Lars was in the middle of explaining something. He told Mr. Parker that he couldn't look everyone in the face because he was embarrassed about it. Mr. Parker thwacked his head with his fist. It looked painful. Lars only rubbed where poor Mr. Parker hit him with his paw, not reacting any more than that. Well, that was unexpected and interesting. Hmm. Some moments later, they finally reconciled. Huh, it seems like they are fine now. Sorry about that, Henry. I just needed to know what really happened. I didn't mean to cause a scene in your home. <laughs> It's fine, Mr. Parker. I'm glad you two aren't fighting anymore. You headed to, you headed to the kitchen. You headed to the kitchen in a hurry earlier. Is everything okay? Uh, don't worry about it. I was just getting lightheaded earlier. No worries. I can't tell him that my heart was throbbing like crazy. Ah, I didn't realize it was already this late. <laughs> yeah, you really went all out with your lecture. He looked at Lars. He was still sitting on the couch. He looked at you meekly. For once, the mighty-looking Lars, the wild, solitary tiger, looked so tiny. I didn't know he had that side. That was really cute. Well, I'm heading back to my place. Okay, take care, Mr. Parker. You better not be pulling any tricks like that, Lars. I'm watching you. He did the I'm watching you gesture as he spoke before he left your house. Phew, he finally ended. I feel bad for him. Maybe I should try to cheer him up. Hey, Lars? He tilted his head upwards and looked at you briefly before he looked down again. Um, are you okay? I'm fine. Well, crap, I made it awkward. It's probably a hard request, but would you mind telling me your story? I sort of missed it because I went to the kitchen. Yeah, sure. He told you everything you needed to know about what happened that day. You learned that Coach Gill and Lars were good friends, that he was the same lecherous person as ever, that Lars had a, had a once had a good life and so on. At some point your name got mentioned, but didn't really pay any attention to that. He told you that Gill almost did something weird to him, but he stopped before it got too weird. You didn't know why, but you felt a spark of jealousy when he told you that. At least it didn't last long. But judging from his current story, it was going nowhere, so you had to make sure. Wait a minute. I thought you were going to tell me how you got fired. 
I am. It was about to happen. Oh, <laughs> continue. That was embarrassing. Anyway, he told you that that peaceful night turned into a nightmare for him. He got a termination of employment letter saying that he violated the company code of contact, falsifying records, and etc. That was some serious violation there, but Lars didn't do any of that, at least from his story. What the heck? You saw him rolling his eyes before he asked you what happened. What is it? They terminated you just like that? Just like that, yeah. And you didn't do anything about it? I did, but you stopped me right before I was about to tell you again. Sorry about that, I just couldn't help it. How could they do that without any notice or at least c consult you about it? I did call HR after that. And what happened? <laughs> I'll tell you sometime. It's quite late and I'm hungry. Eh? You can't just stop like this. He smiled and walked off to the kitchen. Come on, don't tease me like that. When you were about to follow him to the kitchen, you heard a knock from the other side of the door. Uh-huh. Uh, who could that be? Look through the door viewer, and it was Mr. Parker standing outside. Huh? Did he forget something? You opened the door and greeted him again. Hey, Mr. Parker, something the matter? Huh. Hi, Henry. Uh, do you want to come in? Sure, I'd appreciate that. Thanks. Lars peeked through the hallway and asked why Mr. Parker was here. Why are you here again? Ah, I just forgot to tell you two that we're going to the beach tomorrow. Huh? The, the beach? That's really out of nowhere. It was from Mark. Mark? That's weird. He could have just messaged you about it. I see. Well... You could have just messaged him instead of running back here. Well... He had a point, really. I just forgot, okay? But yeah, Mark told me that everyone will be going. Everyone? Three of us. Mark, Gilbert, and who was that guy again? Manders? Yeah, Anders. Well, it's nice, but... He looked at Lars. What? If you want to go, I'm going. <laughs> Alright. That was really out of nowhere, though. What is Mark planning? He told me this. He put his phone up and you saw a message from Mark reading, I'll tell him some more later, so be prepared to accommodate all of us. Huh. Huh? They're all coming here? I guess that means me too, huh? What? Well, you know, I want to join in too. He let out the longest sigh you could manage. Fine. I guess I'll prepare a lot of food tonight. Sorry about that, Lars. Gilbert's gonna be here, I bet. Ah, about him. Don't worry about it. I already told him not to mention it that much. I appreciate that. I'll prepare the food. Well, I don't have spare mattresses, so I'll at least give you my spare quilts. I can't cook, so I'll help with getting the quilts. Thanks, Mr. Parker. Whoa, your bedroom is as big as my living room. I don't know if my bedroom is too big or your living room is too small. <laughs> Probably somewhere in between. Well, let's get those extra quilts out. They're in my closet. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind me sleeping in the living room. Don't mind sleeping in the living room. Mr. Parker helped you getting those quilts out, and he brought them to the living room all at once. <laughs> Alright, everything is done. Now we're just going to wait until they are all here. I'm going to help out in the kitchen. I can't cook, but at least I know how to do things. Lars would appreciate that. He sat down on the couch again, but you couldn't help but contemplate about how all this stuff happened at the same time. It almost felt like someone was planning this all along. You're about to close your eyes until you heard two knocks at the door. Oh my god. More people? Huh? They're coming! Phew, I'm tired. Oh, oh my god. Ah, uh, that's right, they were all coming over tonight. Ugh, oh, shows how tired I am. Ugh, oh, anyway. Hey, yo, brought these two with me. Uh, hey, everyone. Henry, I didn't see you at all today. I missed you so much. He hurled himself at you. Not literally, but you managed to fend, fend off from his hug. You should restrain yourself, coach. Hey, Henry. He smiled at you, and that was so precious. You smiled and greeted him back. Uh, hey, Anders, how you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How about you? I'm doing all right. Polite and quiet as always. It's nice to have all, all of you here. Come in. Now that everyone was here, you locked the door. You told them to make themselves at home. And they really did. Come to think of it, it was Anders' first time coming here. He looked around curiously, but still trying not to make it too obvious. Mark leaned in closer and made a comment about Lars cooking for you. It must be nice having someone to cook for you. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> How does it feel living under the same roof with him? It's been good. I got someone to clean my things with me, and I get to eat balanced meals. <laughs> That's good, then. At least he's being useful. I don't say it like that. Lars and Mr. Parker come back from the kitchen, telling everyone that dinner was ready. Sorry, but we didn't have time to get other things. I hope you guys don't mind. 
It's fine. This is more than enough for us. Yeah, that looks good. Well, let's eat, everyone. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it right there. Time for me to get some thumbnails and such ready. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and give, leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.